Good morning. Yeah, wow, look at that. This uh, I'm filming this the same time as I always do, but look, it looks like it's daytime. Um, yeah, because it's March now, so spring's coming up. Look, my eyes are watering, so obviously it's still pretty cold. <laughs> but anyway, so this video I want to talk about, about um, me loving me, you know? So, you know, so that you can know how to love transgender people better, you know? Like, basically, so Angie, you're so smart on how to love transgender people. How do you do it? Well, since I'm a transgender person, it turns into the question, how do I love myself? Okay, this is, this is how to do it. <clears throat> because, so like with my experience with spirituality, you learn how to identify ego, and so therefore you learn how to transcend ego through awareness. Um, and it enables you to look at yourself in third person, you know, so I can look at myself like I'm not me, I'm just someone else looking at me. And like I've told you before, you know, that Jesus is like, though I believe Jesus is like mostly fictional, the character of Jesus is like my archetype, my like main teacher on how to love one another, how to treat people. So when I look at myself that way, like I'm trying to love me, you know, I, I, I see, you know, like really often I do, I do things, you know, that are, that are so girly and, you know, so womanly, you know, and in a world that, that thinks that's a satanic thing to notice or a, a satanic thing, a satanic behavior to to credit me with or to compliment me with, you know? Like that's worshiping the devil to do that or something. Which is a crime, you know? Because as I'm trying to struggle through my struggles and everybody's life's a struggle, it, it hurts to think that in, in a re very real way, the world would probably be better off if I killed myself, you know? It, you know I would be doing everyone a big favor, you know? And then, and, and, me saying that, you might say, some of the good people would say, no, that's not true, but there, there's a ton of people that would say, yeah, go ahead and do it. Yeah, they, they're like, yeah, like they, they go for it, you know. If there's anything they can say to hurt me or push me in that direction, they want to do it. They'll, they'll do it, you know, even blatantly, you know. And so that, that can really hurt, so you have to take courage and try to make it through that and love yourself anyway, you know, so when I look at myself, I, you know, it's no wonder that transitioning was so good for me and, and all this because, because, you know, when you, when you learn to look at me with that kind of love, you, you see, you see it, you know, you're like, oh yeah, I can see how that, that is such a good, you know, it's, it's good for you because it's a better match for you, you know. But then again, sometimes I do things where it's really obvious I was born a boy, you know? And I remember, I remember when I first learned about uh, trans women, I remember walking behind one and, and, and you watch them and then they, they'll do a movement or something, then it becomes super obvious they were born a boy, you know? And, and you're like, oh, jeez. Oh, that's just, it's just, what a bunch of bullshit. That's, that's, what a bunch of bullshit. You can totally tell that they were born a boy, you know? It's just a bunch of bullshit. All these, these world these days, tricking people and manipulating people to think things like that. Look at that, the way she just moved her arm. You can tell, you know, it's such bullshit. You know, that's, that's the world you live in looking at you, you know? But, <clears throat> If you look at yourself from a love one another perspective, where you realize that gender's a spectrum, you know, that I'm not, I'm not trying to be a girl, and I shouldn't be trying to be, you know, a cis woman, a girl, you know, a cis woman, I should be trying to be me and be authentic like everybody else. And that's something in between. So sometimes I, there are gonna be boy things and sometimes there are gonna be girl things. And if you look at me from a, you're trying to love one another perspective, both those things can be can be cute. I would hope that, like, if I was lucky enough to to find a man and fall in love and have a good relationship, I would hope that he would like that. And if I knew that he understood, 
the, the, what a trans woman is and understood that it's not a mental illness and it's not something that you need to be afraid to compliment me on because it's encouraging me to be mentally ill and all that like the right wingers teach and preach and think and all that but uh, that uh, the, then you can be you can be confident and I can be confident to receive a compliment of the, of the that that could be a benefit you know sometimes cis women are annoying in a way that I'm not you know sometimes it has its advantages just like sometimes cis women can be so much cuter than me <laughs> you know which is an advantage on the, for them you know just there's an advantage to be in everybody and sometimes there's an advantage to be in me and sometimes there's an advantage those advantages are, you know, those benefits, those good points are because I'm a trans woman, you know. Sometimes they're just because of other things, you know. But, because what a person is is so complicated. Any one part is just a piece of it, you know. But, uh, but that's, that's, that's the trick to, if you look at me from that perspective, you start noticing that I'm, I'm kind, I treat people really nice, I care about people. I'm very emotional, you know. But yet I don't let people push me around because I come from a history of abuse. So I've learned in my personal growth not to allow that, which is a beautiful thing, you know, because I'm not afraid to defend myself. But yet, so then you can be more sure that I'm being genuine and I'm not just being afraid, you know, I'm being, you know, so there's, you know, suddenly you start noticing that a trans woman can be a beautiful thing. <laughs>